Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we are going to be checking out how to get this guy, which in my case is going to be a, a God uh, 2000 uh, uh, HMI screen to pretty much operate a E800 series uh, uh, Mitsubishi drive how to, what sort of software we're going to need for this what sort of wiring we're going to need for this and how to get this going this thing is really cool because with the HMI you can uh, create uh, quite a complex uh, sequence programs within a E800 drive using the PLC functionality where you can operate uh, machinery uh, well it's not complex machinery but like simple machinery with just a drive and a HMI alone so when you can preset times and counts and all sorts of things uh, with it and you can uh, set as i said it is a plc where you can create a a sequence or ladder di di uh, program where you can uh, pretty much set up all sorts of different things and i'm going to be showing the very basic of how to get you started connected wiring and all sorts of things like that any manual set related videos everything else that i can think of could help you and benefit you in any possible way do check out the description below so let's get started <music> Here we are, so the first thing what we need to do, we need to create a communication cable between this guy. I'm going to be using GOT2000, obviously for your GOT2000 might, uh, might be different, so I'll show you later on in a minute in the uh, uh, manual how to get your uh, uh, connection diagram for it. So we're going to be using standard RJ45 uh, cable, which is a standard Ethernet cable, chop one end off and pretty much uh, do this kind of wiring in here. As you can see, my wiring is uh, SDA is green, white, uh, SDB is green, uh, as RDA is white, blue, and RDB is uh, blue, and SG is white, orange. How did I come to that uh, wiring uh, arrangement? That is pretty much a, uh, what you can see uh, for my diagram in here. As you can see, there. and even you put your numbers down there. Now, quickly run you through what those numbers mean. If you look at the, another uh, diagram that Mitsubishi has uh, shown to you, it is, as you can see, you look from the, it's like uh, other way around, so you can see where the first pin is and where the last pin is. You pretty much count like uh, so. So uh, let's have a bigger, quick, quick uh, look at it. Yeah, we're zooming in. So that will be our first pin. And that will be one, one, two, three, four, five. It's pretty much eight. So, so pretty much. Hopefully, I just uh, get the gist. And it pretty much tells you in here. Uh, there we go. So where the third pin goes, where the sixth pin goes, where the fifth and fourth and one pin goes. So it's pretty much giving you a good understanding. These ones I didn't do these. I don't know why 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 they show that in there. I didn't do them. They didn't really make any sense. And as you can see, there's a set set the terminating resistor for the God side to 330 ohms. Guys, if you haven't seen the video where I made a uh, full connection about God 2000, do check it out. But just a reminder, that's in the back in here. Second that uh, to a. Uh, and the um, communication we're going to be using it is USB. So uh, next, what we're going to do is set up the uh, inverter parameters. And for that, let's get started. First parameter we're going to change. I'm going to be going uh, against what manual says because I need I like it differently. So I'm going to change the 79. We need to go for 79. Trying to. Know. I'm going to change that to six. Yep. So, thank you. The next one we're going to go be 118. 118, and that is set as 192. I'm going to be running 1152, even though manual says we'll stay 192. Actually, for for a uh, for our standard, it's basically that one determines the speed it communicates. We can leave it at a uh, 192. But, no, but when you set up to run with this drive, the default is actually in the e designer at 115. Actually, we changed to 115. So here we go. So that'll be one, one, five, two. Let's set that one. Uh, oh yeah, we need to be in a oh PU mode to do that. Thank you. So the next one we're going to be looking at is a uh, one, one, nine. So we need to make sure that is at zero. So we set that one up, and the next one is going to be one. Uh, no, yeah. So the next one is going to be one, two, zero. That should be checked to one. Thank you. And the next one is a uh, one two uh, one two one is going to be set to nine nine nine. 
There we go. We set that one to 999. The next one, 122, we need to change to 999 as well. Come on. Set that one to 999. You can do all this very quickly in our FR configurator issue, but, but for the first setup, we're going to be doing from the drive. The next one is 123. We need to make sure that was on a, a zero. Okay, so set that one to zero. And uh, the next one we're going to be doing is a 184. So, so, so 184. Uh, 184. And we need to change that 184. 184 is this guy in here. RES. I'm going to be using that as my uh, uh, start uh, PLC run signal. So that's something that you definitely need. If you don't know what that is, definitely check out the, the video where I did talk about FF uh, configurator and its PLC functionality. So what I talk a lot more about it. So we're going to set that to 50. So pretty much that will be 50 is our number to start the PLC. So and the final, next one is going to be 340. And this is where we are pretty much selecting Hey, my God, this sensitivity. 340 is where we're pretty much same to work in a, a network mode. We select that to two, two. And the last but not least, it is a PLC functionality, which we need to go to a 414. And we need to make sure that one is a set to two already by default. Excellent. So, uh, oh, so that's done. So once you do that, Let's just leave. When you reset the drive, it should go to net. There you go, come on. There we go, as you can see, it jumped already on the net. And once you start back up, it will be in the net. So the next thing is we need to start uh, activate our uh, PLC functionality. And if you, as you can see, if you close these guys down, the P run comes on. If it doesn't come on, then you've done something wrong. So that's how you pretty much set your drive ready to work with your GOT in here. So let me wire up my GOT power and uh, we go from there. Here we are. Now we are on front of a computer. As you can see, I opened up a, a uh, manual. So let's get rid of that one. And in this manual, this manual is called a Got 2000 Connections Manual. So in this manual, you pretty much can find all the connections you wish, all the cables and uh, pinouts, everything you need, it's here. I'll put that in the description below so you never lose it. So as you can see down there, I opened up this inverter section and I get to the, the, the systems configuration. As you can say, connections to RFA, blah, 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 and all the way to FRE800 series. I click on that one and it opens this page. As you can see down here, uh, you can choose what connections diagram you're going to use. So there's two types. Yeah, and make sure the one you choose is, is, is aligning up with your got pin got pinouts, which I showed you at the beginning of the video, basically the naming of it. So my one works out is this guy in here. So when I click on it and this uh, this side of my a uh, uh, connector is pretty much reflecting what it is in here. So that is my connector. So in here, as you can see, there's a 300 megabyte and a three, megabyte, 300 ohms, blah, blah. And this is how you pretty much set your uh, connection cable up. My camera is playing again. The next one we're going to need to do we need to, is to quickly show you is if we are going, oh, no, that. So go through all this. So th this is where you can find your connections. Pretty much talking you through uh, what the RJ45 looks like, what the pinouts are going to be. Go through all that, and then in here you can see it's pretty much showing you the God side settings. What sort of settings you need to set up for your God side, and in there is where we're going to show you what each a uh, uh, PLC is going to be. Because this is pretty much what we are going to be using. So, uh, oop. and if you go down here. If you read up here, which is quite interesting one, it says 1152 in here. This is what the transmission speed, that's what we set up in there. And that's what it says for, a, uh, for, a, for, for 800 series. But when you go down there, when it says talks about the drive parameter settings, which we go down all the way to oh, E 800 series, as you can see down there, it tells you to uh, keep it at 192, which is interesting. I didn't keep it at that. I changed that one. So, uh, uh, so 
things pretty much was different, a little bit different for me. So as you can see down there, it says that the PR119 needs to be on 10, and I believe I said that to different. So as I said, I would not entirely follow this, but I more or less follow this. So I can see that it, it gives you sort of an option. So this is where you can find what are your settings you need to do for a... Uh, uh, communication because this is more or less a set to uh, as well for a how what can communicate what sort of controls you're going to have because we are using plc functionality uh, some of this might not apply so very much this is where you get find your information so that's about about uh, the manual the next thing you will need the god which is this one we need to do this designer and this as you can see i have designed a little program you can see that i have start forwards jokes are reverse speed selections and mix of the speed selections so i get speed set speed change in here so display the speed just a very basic uh, program and this has been uploaded to the, con uh, the controller where you get a hmi already and if you go to a common and then we go on control settings and in here we get to choose what sort of control we need if as you can see down there's two options in there it says 800 and 800 as well now we need to choose this section in here for our plc functionality remember this video is all about getting you connected and and getting you working with the plc functionality because plc functionality is cool you can make very complex programs and complex sequences which you cannot do in a normal circumstances so uh there by selecting that, as you can see down there, it tells you this is a transmission speed, and this is what I changed to. By clicking OK, communications. Once you've uh, done your program, good done, guys. Let me let me let me uh, know in the description below. Oh no, this one, like, comments below if you want to see a bit more programming, how I program my HMI, and uh, pretty much get a little bit into the uh, uh, GT uh, designer. So do let me know in comments below. So once you got that, we just write it to the goal. And that's it. And that's all pretty much all we need to do. So as you can see on the screen is already transferring all the data. It's quite quick. I love it, these new systems. And it's gonna do is reset. So that's uh where we get your where we get our uh, setup in there. And one more thing before we get started. Because you're using PLC uh, systems in here, as you can see, some of the uh, some of the setups in here are a little bit different so if you go in a, if you just to give you a brief explanation here as you can see in here usually it would look like that at the beginning but if you want to read out what each of these things this is what is available for this hmi for this controller so that's pretty cool they're pretty much showing you what's available we can you can do the parameters and there's a lot of things we're not going to go through that but it's just giving you an idea and whatever, whatever group you are selecting so you can like say ssn and, and then you click on that and it says what that what it is there so there's only one retentive timer that's cool and what which one do we we were down there it was that sp and then in here you can read what each thing means so we, before you select this so it gives you a bit of a description description but again uh, that's a long story there's a lot more to understand about this so get new connection give you sort of an options how to get your started once that is loaded in uh, we're going to lower our uh, god and uh, because that program is already in there because we already have established communications with our god because as, uh, uh, as soon as you plug that in and, and, and there's no uh, problems with your wiring uh, as soon as you click into the buttons it will try to do something and if a is uh, trying to do an error pops up that means something wrong with the communication so other than that you are good to go so the last thing i'm going to show you uh, that as you can see down here where am i uh, i am in here this is my fr configurator in operation in the tools you select gx developer once you are in gx developer again i have covered this before guys check out the videos in the description below how to get these things going as well as you can see that is my program i am using an internal sm uh, uh, bits uh, they are uh, special relays and uh, they are on turn things on each one of them assigned for different things to do like forward reverse blah 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 again check out my uh, uh, plc functionality video for uh, e800 so that in the description below and uh, once you that done you're pretty sure just write it in like normal you would write the plc write it to your plc which is your h uh, your e800 drive and it'll be good to go on that language man that is how you get yourself started so let's jump on on the camera and see what we have created here we are so uh let's check it out what we have created in here let's start up oh that's an awful sound so one second so what we're gonna do in here we're gonna jump to apu mode 
go to parameter a 70 oh, 72 which is our cardiac frequency let's change that one to make that sound to go away to and change that to about a that'll be perfect so once you do it once you come out of I just keep mixing the button. Once you come out of the net mode, yeah, you can't really get back into it un unless you reset the drives. You can see it just keeps jumping around it. So what you need to do is a uh, turn it off. As you can see down there, in a minute, some of the, some of the got uh, buttons and things like that will disappear because it loses a communication for it. So did it disappear? Uh, maybe you not. Know, sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. I don't know why it, why it does that. So here we go, so uh, here we go, it, it, it try to disappear. So we are back into a net mode, payout mode, and this is pretty much what we're going to do in here, as you can see. Things we've created here. So it's 45 there, then we go into that one, we can select whatever the frequency we want. So you say 20, so what if we don't like that, we want the preset frequency, you can actually, as you can see, if you try to buy, we put both uh, going forwards and reverse, that ain't gonna work. So you have to turn one off. Take it turn it off. We got a jog in here, which is a 10. And uh, I do believe I have not set up all the frequencies. So uh, because for the frequencies to work again, check out there is a tutorial videos on this drive, how to do that. So uh, there, as you can see that free, oh. So as you can, that is on 10. That's on 30. See in here it shows the displays. You can put that display on another screen as well if you wish to. So and that is probably a uh, oh that's 60. So uh, that's pretty much uh, as I said my drive hasn't been fully set up yet, but that's pretty much it gives you an idea of what you can do. And this is just the basic of what you can do because you can create a full blown a uh, uh sequence programs into it you could execute like a mixing program the drive would uh, send the drive uh, send the send the mixer to go one way for a certain amount of time and go another way at the same time there's so many other options it's pretty much a very good plc if i'll be Mitsubishi, i would market this pretty hell out of it because it is an excellent functionality because you can build some very complex uh machines with just the drive and hmr and that uh, only one criticism of all of this, Mitsubishi is not very clear and not very good in manual to explaining how this all works and how to really get yourself set up. So if they could make that for a other understanding for the average Joe, think I think they would pretty much score pretty good sales on that one. But that's just a me. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will cover this. Hopefully you enjoyed it and gives you a good understanding how to get started and uh, how to get you going. So uh, I know we didn't cover the programming part of it, which again, this is a whole load of different story. It's just getting you started, giving you an option to see what this, uh, what can you do with HMI and the drive alone. So uh, there's a lot more to it. Again, maybe one day we will cover it, but this is just like introduction of HMI and E800 drives. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, if you like the video, smash that like. If you don't, smash this like. Comment below, any questions, anything you want to ask, I will answer them as soon as I can and as accurate as I can. On that, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.